case, <coughs> there is no innovation. It's just basic. Basic, you are doing a business kind of. This is the thing. Is that clear? Are you there? I just want to see some more noise in the... So are you there with me? Uh, idea and opportunity. There's a market and your idea, how much innovative it has to be. So hope that is clear. Uh, yes, thank you. So coming to next. Uh, all the opportunity and idea, there could be four possibility of market product fit. Product market fit, that is uh, location and time. There were uh, where entrepreneurs actually uh, uh, miss out and that is location and time. It may happen that <clears throat> they are early and they are late. They may be early, they may be late. There are so many startups, I'll give example. With this, we will understand that. It may happen that with this is kind of ends of matrix. I compare with it's not exactly, but kind of ends of matrix. And it talks about product and market. Sorry. Now I'll talk here about the opportunity and idea or market or product. In if you see the first quadrant, quadrant in this the opportunity, there is no opportunity in the market. The mar there is no market for it, right? In the first case. But the innovation is next level. And uh, will have are the this is the first quadrant. This is next generation products and services. The second is new market with the new category products and services. And the third is exploration into new market. And fourth is improvements and extensions. And that's, uh, that are the four possibility for any entrepreneur to launch the product. Let's take the example. In the first, you see this flying car, next generation product, but there is no market for it currently. Yes, there is no market for it because this is next generation. Is there a product market fit? No, in first quadrant. The second is all the applications like Zoom, right? OBS, Filmora, all SaaS platforms currently, all educational platforms like Baiju or all new applications coming in after, especially after Corona. This is, there is an opportunity and there is an innovation also. The third is <clears throat> Big Basket. It already happened actually. It was a good opportunity for Big Basket, but now what they're doing is, they're, the idea innovation is okay now, gone. Five years before it was very innovative, but now it is okay. So what they're trying to do is they're trying to reach out to the new markets. If you are coming up with a new idea of online vegetables, you are into third quadrant. And the last is coming up with the manufacturing of toothpaste or coming up with the Kirana shop or coming up with the salon or coming up with the normal wholesale business or trading business or retail shop this is fourth quadrant these are the fourth possible we are doing operation of product market fit why i am showing this because what do you call product market fit here that's what we are trying to understand there are so many startups out there are they reaching to product market fit do you call it product market fit So when you say that you, that's why I asked this question, what comes first here? Let's answer that question as well. What comes first, idea or opportunity? Opportunity is always there. We need to identify the right time, right opportunity, right need. If you are coming up with the Kirana shop or something, and that's okay, but maybe late in the market. Uh, 
cloud computing, for example, that is on, I would say there is a huge opportunity and this is an innovation, cloud computing or cloud softwares. Yes. Metaverse. Metaverse is somewhere, somewhere here. Electric vehicles. Where do you put electric vehicles? And the first quadrant, but it's just about to be there. People are ready with the NFTs platform. People are ready with cryptocurrencies. People are ready with the digital market. And Metaverse is just about to get launched. It's just here. Buffering, you can say. But the moment it hits in, then you will see a lot of all the companies. Then it will reach to the market, I mean to say, that will create market. And this is called, I'll request your attention here. This is called, if you're going from one to two, this is called converting idea into opportunity. You can say that. You're just ahead of market. Metaverse is ahead of market. They have the idea. And that idea is converting into creating opportunities, I would say that. Idea is creating opportunities, a lot of opportunities. This is idea and opportunity. This is product market fit. Metaverse is not successful now because it's here. Flying car is not here. Flying car is here, but not successful. A lot of ML AI applications. Electric vehicles, for example. Electric vehicles is just about to be there. One of my student, Akash, he is coming up with the... Actually, he, uh, very, like, very much entrepreneurial he is. And uh, three years before, he started a battery shop before Corona. And uh, I asked that Akash, uh, your battery shop is like it's in quadrant four. You're coming up the law. There are a lot of battery shops out there. Then he said, he said, sir, I'm preparing for the future because I'm reading news that a lot of electric companies will be booming after three years once the, this is like a petrol pump. This is like gas station, petrol pump. This will be in India. And I want to get into it. I know the shop will not, but I want to get into the industry now. And now he is planning to actually come up with the station of swapping batteries. He's working on it. This is entrepreneurship. Staying in the future, being ahead of time, converting your ideas and finding the right opportunity. And this is called right product market fit. Now there could be entrepreneurs. They're finding the right product market fit in the new markets, tier two, tier three. I'll take example of when it comes to time and location, I want to again share big basket. Again, I request your attention and there it will be clear. Big basket in 2000, it started actually in 2000, you know, Hari Menon, he, He's there behind this idea for the last 20 years. It didn't work. 2005, he tried to again launch. It didn't work. 2010, again, he tried launch. It didn't work. 12 and 13, he found the market. Can you see here? And then you might have seen in 15, 16, 17, he enjoyed that wealth. And this is entrepreneurship. This is innovation. Next generation. This is disruption. This is going into the right market. And now it's kind of, yeah, there are so many people. Dunzo, for example, you might have you have you ordered from Dunzo in last maybe a couple of days? 50% off, 19 minutes delivery in Pune, they started. Anyone here? Dunzo, ordered from Dunzo. The killing market, the disrupting market against Big Basket. When I see Swiggy and Zomato, only two players left. Flipkart and Amazon, only two players left. Uh, which all industry, other industry? Ola and Uber, only two players left. In deliveries also, when it comes to vegetable deliveries, only two players will be left. Big Basket and Dunzu, I feel now. So there are like 
two players left always they eat the entire startups other st small small startups like grofers was gone so they eat all the startups so yes that is the thing so this is product market fit uh, so so technically entrepreneurship goes from one to two then two to three and then this is red ocean four yes i'll not take time this is more on discussion mode but i want to bring some other topics also so that's all what all skills you require that is uh, in first quarter what skills you require and then second and third and fourth so i'll skip this part uh, what skills you require majorly in first and second quarter is future knowledge imagination latest technology updated tools software r&d capacity uh, i'm working on one of the startup one edtech startup currently and uh, uh, again uh, what we require is the identifying the right needs customer needs when it comes to skill based education and uh, we are trying to identify that need its future imagination knowledge all the software is technology even i am learning a lot when i am working in this edtech startup in the left hand side it's more of zeal passion perseverance persistence hard work and network and so there is a difference of skills when you actually go into the market uh, in the first second third fourth quarter in this the r&d cost is very high in these quadrants in this the operational and marketing cost is really high in this quadrant this product market fit i also i'll also connect design thinking uh, if you have taken the sessions on design thinking i'll connect design thinking with the right mark, product market fit uh, in design thinking you first there are majorly five stages but i'll explain only four here first you will empathy empathize you will identify the problems by the way i uh, hope i my speed is okay you are there you haven't slept are you there connected you in the chat box yes in the chat box hope i'm not going too fast or we are on the same page let's see how many of left it started with 55 now 63 are there charan abhishek shubham yes ma'am santosh aryan if i am calling you with your name if your faculty sorry about it rahul i like your handwriting akash i need to know that from where you got that yes sir that hitesh thank you thank you if you're there uh, coming to next uh should i tell from my journey what is product market fit yes sir how Please. how did i reach to, to we reach to product market fit because i'll take so that you are more connected uh, from that so uh, i'll start here <clears throat> oh this is the thing and what entrepreneurs and even few mistakes also i'll share my mistakes also and how we reached to the product market but i yeah i started with engineering i did engineering uh then i went to umass i did my mba from umass boston and this was the beautiful campus and uh, yes there i used to take walk with whom i won't say but yes <laughs> uh, this is the downtown boston there we used to party hard on friday night and this is our university uh, quit i went to california working with as esri as a wfm lead and there uh, uh, again like wanted to test my potential it was a beautiful life everything was there i'm thankful to my job but again you want to do something extra something different in life and you want to test your potential as well uh, so that is the thing and you have some dreams also right and quit my job and came back to india i had a dream of starting a uh, mexican outlets because i was 
very much inspired with Chipotle brand. And uh, there I started. And within six months, this was the outlet actually. And this was the team. Uh, we also took a franchise of Chart Bazaar. And this is our brand, Papa Zapata. With my partner, Vikas Vohra and I, we started the Papa Zapata brand. We started in... Now, I'll tell you the concept. We started in the mall. It is out... You know, in usual malls where you have theater also, you have some shopping um, streets and shopping, uh, you know, brands. And uh, there is a food court also. And from that food court, we started this brand. Brand. Papa Zapata. Right. Now the concept is like in Chipotle, it is just like subway concept. In subway, how much time does it take? Like one minute or two minutes to create your sub, right? Foot long. One minute, two minutes, right? Similarly, in Chipotle, also the concept is that you just get in here, you get your rice bowl, burrito, or burrito bowl that you call, and you get your a dish ready in like two minutes. It just they have to fill the rice and beans and some veggies and etc. With that concept, I quit my job and came back. And I we launched in the mall. Anyone who wants to share that what would have been the what do you think? Now it's an IT hub. <clears throat> This mall was an IT hub in Hinduwadi, Pune. All educated people, right? They have paying capacity also. But what do you think that? <clears throat> Good capacity, people know, people understand the food, people want to try new food, and this is in the mall, right? What do you think? What was the result of Papa Zipata? Anyone? What would have been the response I'm interested in? Ten on ten, eight on ten, <clears throat> five on ten, two on ten. What would have been the response? All gone? Many ideas. Are you there? Can I hear? What would have been the response? Yes. Five on ten. Why five? I'm quitting my job from US. You are giving me five on ten. Why? Dr. Vakula, you want to answer like why it had been five on ten? Why not ten on ten? Anyway, let me answer that. And I'll come to that uh, point. Ashu also asked about that. Uh, many ideas come in mind. I'll talk about that. Uh, uh, why it was not actually, the reason is that uh, uh, it didn't work too much. because And we took a franchise of Chad Bazaar. And trust me, we made 75% of the, though it was a franchisee, we took Chart Bazaar, we used to make 75% of the revenues from Chart Bazaar and 25% from Papa Zapata. Why I say that the reason is that first thing first, uh, that wherever there is Chart, there are Indians are there, right? There are Indians. So uh, first thing first is the, men, the menu itself, the menu that, uh, or cuisine, you say that. What works in India is like always it, it is the Indian food. You're trying to launch something altogether different. You need to test and try it out and pivot, pivot, pivot. That's what I've shown. And I was like, uh, 
I was crazy for Chipotle. There is no queue here in India. What's happening? And the concept was why it didn't touch the market because the concept was fast. And the mindset people come with what uh, people come to a mall is that enjoy, chill, relax. They are not in hurry. People used to sit for like one hours, like sitting in the food court and chit chatting. And the cost concept was fast. One minute rice bowl. That was the concept. And that concept, actually, it usually doesn't work in the mall. So where did it work? Then we actually went into IT company. And there you see, this is product market fit. Because the concept is people in the IT companies, they want food in like one, two minutes. They're coming for lunch. They have only one hour, two hours, one hour usually. So we had the window to sell this food from 12 to three o'clock. That's it. So they used to come and they were used to be in hurry. And there we reached in IT companies. Even here, I didn't know that I never had this idea that we'll go into IT companies, but we do, did market research and we did the study that people want to enjoy. People are sitting. So taste is there. Taste is important, but concept, the business model itself, it has, it is a quick serve restaurant. People call it QSR. QSR, that is quick serve restaurant. And this works very well in IT companies. And then we started in Cubix IT Park. This is the Quadrant IT Park, the third outlet we started. This is the Eon IT Park. We started one more outlet. And then we actually changed our menu and we sold a franchise in Indore also. We changed our franchise and we learned a lot. And see, we are selling Pani Puri as well in this fashion. We changed the all spices when we are selling rice bowl. Yeah. So there are so much Indianized masalas into spices into it. And that's what this is product market fit. And you have to. So that is the thing. So that's what I wanted to show you that how you do. Now coming to the question, what Ashu asked that you have so many ideas and how to Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Ogula. So uh, Ashu is asking how many ideas? Yes. Uh, okay, I can answer this question because I have, again, two hours module on how to decide and select the idea, idea clarity blueprint. Uh, but we have less time now. So, but still I can tell you how to decide that idea. The first thing first is, uh, I'll tell the sequence how to come up with the idea as you ask this question. The first thing first is, uh, what's your interest and what industry you are in? So if you write, if you want to write down, if you have notes, because I have done a lot of research in the last six to seven years. And after that, I'm telling this next five, 10 minutes that how to come to the idea. And I'll connect product market fit also here. First thing first is what your passion is. What is the passion is that how to identify that passion? People appreciate for something of your skill. You keep thinking about that all the time. You can do it very easily. Like singing, for example, or painting or calculating something or you're good in numbers or you're good in science or technology or that comes you're writing a code and your friends are appreciating Ashu you have written a code man I can't write it like there are so many errors this is your passion get into that second important is industry you need to know which industry you are in maybe education or Education, healthcare, technology, health tech, fintech, edtech, three, I vouch on. Uh, in the next couple of years, this is the future. Health tech, fintech, and edtech. If you have this question, which industry is good? But other industries are not like doing good with the technology. Agri-tech, for example, um, in construction, interior, whichever in is your industry. 
Once you finalize that, then you identify second step is the you are finding your target audience. You need to really know that who is your target audience. Is it B2B, B2C, your uh, middle class, upper middle class, affluent, opulent, who is your target audience? Children, mid age, old age, who is your target audience? Why I'm saying that a B2B or B2C, if it's a company, industry, you're selling a product to. Why I'm saying that? Because you need to empathize that I'm coming to em empathy map. You need to empathize with the people, with your customer. If you really think Portia, for example, Portia, not sure if you have heard of Portia, that started in Bangalore and they're operating in Bangalore, Portia. Is the healthcare app, health tech, and they provide physiotherapy and all the. You need not go to hospital for that. They're trying to provide as much as the facility at home, especially for old age people. Their children are in foreign countries; they cannot come, and then. Or they have actually moved to some other country, uh, other cities in India, within India, but they cannot come overnight. They cannot be there because they are doing jobs in other cities. There they identify the need. Old age people or people, the parents who are living alone. You need to empathize with your target audience. Second step, who is your target audience? The third identifying their problems and needs empathy map i'm going to share with you what is empathy map and how to identify the problem and that's what we are you're doing using design thinking problem the fourth is coming up with an idea scamper technique i'll show you how this these two things this is product and and this is market and product fit. Problem and idea. Fourth is idea. You come up with an idea. And fifth, you need to define the benefits on that idea. So I'm repeating again. First is your interest in industry. If you are right interest, right industry, nobody can stop you. If you are not able to find problem today, you'll find tomorrow because you have interest, passion to continue perceive it. First thing. Second is the target audience. You need to know whom you are helping. If you do not connect to them, you may not be able to reach out with to them with and identify their problems in the right manner. The third is identification of problem. The fourth is coming up with an idea to solve that problem. And fifth is benefits. If you connect, you will come up with your idea. Which industry I can tell you, fintech, edtech, and health tech. I am telling you those industries also. Now, you have passion and not waste management. You have passion, go for it. So, it's something you have to uh, do research by yourself only. But I've told you the formula in short. Buying damage, repair, shell on that. Saying something about my startup, how can I do this startup? Shubham, yeah, it's a good idea, actually. Uh, right idea. You need to actually check some licenses on it. That what all licenses, uh, electric vehicles, because uh, I I have in my WhatsApp, there was one innovation where you can uh, fit an electric uh, gadget in the cycle, bicycle. And it starts working and is electric. So that's also an interesting concept. So this is also a Shubham, it's an interesting concept. You're converting the petrol into electric. But I came across these ideas before also. You need to check the licenses here. That is one thing and the technology. One of the students, by the way, in SIBM, he actually worked on it. He actually worked on it. You can connect to me on LinkedIn and I can share. I need to, it was three years before he was working on it. You can connect me on LinkedIn. Just text me. I'll connect to that person as well who has worked on it. 
and it was working in dual mode <clears throat> if you want to go into petrol or go want to go for electric it was a dual mode <clears throat> ashu is that clear which i told the five step process to reach to the idea yes sir, <clears throat> yes, sir uh, can you hear me yes sir can you tell me about uh, your journey of life sir from the starting sir that's uh, helped me to in our life sir for getting success sir my journey i just told you but uh, uh, if you have any particular i told you from the engineering till here but if you have some particular doubts or if you want to know something how i got married and all college life sir huh come again Yes, Ashu, you are asking something, or <clears throat> hello? Yeah. Sir, about sir, college life, sir. What you did in college life, sir? Okay. Uh, I'm not sure. I mean, uh, what you're trying to ask, Ashu? I think college life. Uh, I did everything except studies. <laughs> It's a long stories, so. <clears throat> But yeah, in uh, your time, many times, how many of you feel like doing something different and something new? I I can say that just go for it, try it out. This is the right time. If you have that question, that what is the right time for me to start a business? If you have a question, I would say that today. or next month or maybe 6 months why i can say that why it's early because the responsibilities in life grows and there is taking ability reduces this are like opposite i'm repeating responsibilities increase with time you got to have you will have your car loans house and kids and etc etc and the risk taking ability reduces with responsibilities as that quickest so what i say like if you are a student this age maybe 6 months or 1 year or after doing 1 year to your job that's the right time anyway i i know it was intimidating but you even if you have bought the house also today is the right time because tomorrow you're going to spend in another house and take loan better invest that money into your startup and try it out so this is the thing coming to design thinking so problem you identify you converge the problem you define the problem again you ideate and you finalize your idea so this is the problem and this is the idea using design thinking again i am repeating this is the problem part so what you do you diverge that means you come up with a lot of problem and you define the one problem second is you diverge you come up with a lot of ideas for that particular problem and you try to converge the idea because you try to come up with a lot of ideas and then you try to converge how to do that let's see that uh i know it may be a lot to digest but i want to still connect you connect the dots connect the dots between design thinking there you come up with the problem define the problem identify and define the problem and come up with the idea and there it starts with the lean startup if in case you have what is lean startup 
lean startup is actually building your prototype and taking to the market doing minimum viable product and checking its success this is mvp is tested if you see that here so by the end of design thinking you are clear about the idea by end of lean startup you are clear about your product mvp minimum viable product in you launch the product you start your startup then the product goes into the agile mode you must have heard about agile processes water flow earlier people used to have a water flow now it's agile and so it's a development efficiency driven agile process and the last is six sigma when the company becomes big huge then the six sigma you know people use six sigma to optimize the efficiency optimize the cost that is the six sigma that's how it's all these connected so i wanted to share that where product market fit comes in all these steps here it's here by the end of design thinking in fact to an extent lean startup also apply innovation in all these steps and this is entrepreneurship because you grow your business and this is part of entrepreneurship you may be asking for some tools to define the problem and come up with the idea so i want to share some tools problem and idea that is market and product fit product market fit you can say that so when it comes to market it is opportunity opportunity is nothing but problem people's problem how do you identify people's problem is using empathy map so i want to give you one tool i want to share with you uh what is empathy map and what is empathy so empathy is not sympathy empathy is understanding people people's need this is empathy example i'll keep uh let's say student as a user at the center so how to identify the problem and how to come up with the idea i'm sharing that so to identify the problem you use empathy map you keep your target audience or persona at the center and now apply this what do they see first second what do they hear third what do they think and feel and last is what do they say and do this is you are trying to understand them then after that you will identify their pains in what they are looking for the gains and this is empathy map you must you have question that how to identify problems to come up with the product market fit you need to identify the problem or opportunity that's how you identify the problems example a there are a lot of startups for example coming these days so users see that oh i have uh, you know uh, what they are seeing environment hey this guy actually saying something vakula ma'am has conducted one webinar also this guy was talking about entrepreneurship oh shark tank also they also say the same thing and what i see i see the newspaper every day people you know a lot of startups getting funding getting millions of dollars second what do they hear from the friends hey i also got the startup idea they heard from the webinar seminar they heard from the youtube channel ah uh, this ankur varuku there is a person he also talks about something like taking risk and all hey, this guy also came in blue shirt Uh, he was talking about the entrepreneurship their friends mm-hmm. ah vakula ma'am also say guys you got to take risk innovate ah then what they think and feel i think i also can do this guy was talking that take risk yeah 
so i think yeah even it was connecting i have an idea also now this guy told about that fintech and edtech yeah i have some idea as well now start thinking and what do they say they go home and they say i'm dad uh, i want to become an entrepreneur i don't want to do mca stupid first complete mca do job get married have two children at least then build your own house and then after that after 50 do whatever you want <laughs> when you don't have any restricting ability <laughs> i'm just kidding things are changing parents are also trying to encourage but sometimes it happens right three idiots no way but coming back they do and say like that but the problem is that what problem do they face so many assignments in the college how should i start they don't give me time does it happen how should i start now i'm not i, I don't have time so much of course big course every month every now and then there are assignments does it happen guys with you yes in the chat box anyone feels like that i'm doing empathy map here itself applying empathy map on students mca students no one i want to do it but anyone here uh vakula ma'am like they are so scared of you they are not saying it <laughs> so there are some challenges some obstacles i'm not i'm just kidding actually that's why we have nep uh nep coming up and vakula ma'am also will appreciate the policy which is going to come up and already implemented uh that will help students to get time to think about themselves to grow as a, as whole i would say holistic way holistic development of a children and uh, the gain is that what they are looking for is they want freedom they want maybe they may funding they are looking for funding let's say they are looking for some more courses or practical based learning in startups and when you find that <clears throat> you work on your ideas then this is how you come up with the problems this is how you identify the need is that clear empathy map there is customer journey map there are other tools also to identify the problem but i just gave you a glance of how people identify problem there is a systematic way of identifying the problem <clears throat> um time is less but can you identify the need here problem in the chat box you want to write what problem or need do you see here observe empathize not sympathize empathize understand yes vakula ma'am is right go into their shoes and understand put yourself into their shoes and i want to see in the chat box what problem do you see here act everyone anyone awake anyone awake
else i mean i have a lot of content to uh, i can finish in like 5 minutes procrastination who is procrastinating here anyway i mean uh, i have 10 minutes left i i can complete the session in quick if you want uh, your participation is my energy okay uh, they are procrastinating no they are not procrastinating anyway so these are uh, some need of social media at least like uh, what was the need of social media or just tell that are there some problems with the facebook do you see any problem in the facebook currently observe i mean to say <clears throat> Ula ma'am is like, "Are somebody speak, man?" Anyway, do you see problem here? These are all problem, and how to identify the problem? <clears throat> Use empathy map. <clears throat> It's a plastic. People using plastic, and. Uh, people throwing the trash outside this is a also a problem right now these people don't understand they throw trash outside they use plastic not good it's people's problem this is actually if you see these are all problems and we need to one skill what we require is the observer observation you observe apply empathy map customer journey map search about customer journey map also and you identify the problem observe the not only people <clears throat> observe situation observe objects around we use social media all the time but do we ask ourselves that there could be some problem needs of by the user also people throw trash all the time outside apply empathy map and see what do the see do actually hear about it what are their pains and then apply why why analysis example Why? Why analysis is a five why analysis. Five why analysis where you keep asking questions. Why? Why analysis. People throw the trash outside the dustbin. So bad, right? Why do they throw outside the dustbin? <clears throat> Because it's mostly already filled. it's mostly already filled why it's already filled why it's always or mostly already filled because the trash isn't collected on time now ask again one more why why the trash isn't collected on time because the authority doesn't know when it gets filled that's the problem it's not people's problem the the root cause is the authority does not know when it gets filled and they, what is the idea this is the product market fit guys i need your attention an application with the real time monitoring feature in your university also in your college people around somebody must have created this kind of application right yes in the chat box if you know already someone has created this kind of application for the uh, you know governance or municipal uh, 
corporation or uh, some government body around your local body for them they have created the application anyone knows about this application yes this is product market fit you reach to using yy analysis you reach or empathy map you reach to Ooh. the core problem and generate one idea about it this is product market fit and you do testing with using lean startup try test come up with the minimum viable product that's a different story but that's how you actually reach to that idea <clears throat> so this was a technique to identify empathy map is to come up with the idea why why analysis to boil down the problem i'm repeating empathy map is to generate lot of problems identify lot of problems why why analysis is to reach to the bottleneck to deduce the idea to you know submit the idea submit the problem i mean to say to boil down the problem to focus on the core problem this is why by analysis and you come up with the idea now there are some ideation techniques and tools also so brainstorming brain writing mind mapping scamper vision staying in future these are few few only few out of so many scamper is one of the technique i like and if you divide this the acronym of scamper is s for substitute c for combine a for adapt m for modify p for put to other use e for em eliminate r for reverse so if you apply on the existing products or situation you come up with the new ideas and i'll give you a gist of it <clears throat> the watch for example right or the clock can you substitute the clock s for substitute or can you modify it combine pencil let's say can you substitute pencil yes oh i actually have thank you sorry about it i was sharing all the slides that proves that everyone is sleeping oh man sorry about it sorry about it sorry about it okay 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 please don't do like this yeah if you think that i am showing something my bad first of all sorry about it uh did you see this empty map okay anyway so uh, this is the empathy map uh that's what i was explaining empathy map what people see here if you see here in the pain and gain i was telling you i think not sure so anyway uh, so this is the pain and gain what uh, uh, your user uh, so user for see and hear and then think and feel and what do they do and say and finally they actually you identify their pain and what they're looking for that is gain the next is that i was okay that's why i mean this <laughs> this was the picture i was talking about uh can you see and that's why there was no answer can you see the picture and this was the i was asking the users observe the pain and observe the the problems 
you have social media, what's the problem? What's the need? It's the trash. Uh, this is the trash people throw outside. I was asking about that. What is the problem here? We're using YY analysis. This is people throw the trash outside. It's mostly already filled. Then trash isn't collected on time. Why it's not collected? The authority doesn't know when it gets filled. And an application with the real time monitoring feature is the question answer. Idea. This is the product market fit. Yeah, there are ideas, tool, and technique. Can you see? I was talking about the scamper, substitute, combine, adapt, modify, put to other use, eliminate, reverse, or for reverse. If you apply substitute, can you apply substitute or combine two items from here or adapt or modify these things? Then you come up with a lot of ideas. Can you modify pencil? You come up with a lot of ideas. You combine. And these activities we do in class, by the way. And the soap, can you modify soap? You come up with a lot of ideas. We have generated from these activities, we have generated literally 50 plus ideas in 15 minutes. Not kidding. 50 plus good ideas in 15 minutes, one five, 15, 20 minutes. It's amazing activities. And you substitute Panipuri. No. You can't substitute Panipuri. And using this, we come up with the idea. And this was the outcome of the ideas. You're generating ideas out of the problem using empathy map, using YY analysis. And you come up with these kind of ideas. This is product market fit. This won the award. This product won the award. Bester product people of social media there is a problem and people or need maybe need to connect professionally LinkedIn need to connect need to connect with their ideas Pinterest need to follow celebrities what they're doing Twitter and where's my application you must be thinking that uh, Instagram, solve the problem of all these applications for the youth, youngsters. And people wanted to speak also. And that's why Clubhouse was the application. So they are coming up with the product market fit. You must know about it, uh, about the YouTube. YouTube started as a dating application. You must be knowing, I think, I'm sure you would know about it. In 2010, it didn't work. Then they started actually pivoted and they came up with the uploading videos and it then struck the market. Instagram was more of a check-in application, just for check-in didn't work. Then they came up with the uploading photos and then uploading all kinds of, it's not only check-in, but reels. And then now they have like N numbers of features. So they keep pivoting and reach to the snap deal. For example, the deals didn't work in India initially. They started with the online e-commerce. A lot of companies, a lot of startups, they start with something else. They end up becoming altogether different entity. You must be knowing about this. The eating edible spoons. I explain about this idea, connecting with the authority. Product market fit. You identify the problem, narrow down the problem using YY analysis, come up with the idea using Scamper, and connect finally the problem with the idea. The last slide, I'll take two more minutes and five more minutes, and then we'll finish. Here it's the 
it's a strong dose you if you want to practice this this is product market fit this is problem feature and benefit problem feature benefit if you want to take the note you can take the notes problem feature benefits so the problem with the ola is rude behavior of drivers they charge more yes this is the problem using maybe yy analysis you can do or empathy map can you tell what feature did they bring to solve this problem rude behavior Yes, anyone? My question is what problem, with what feature they solve this problem of rude behavior? This was the easiest session in last three to four years, I would say that. You ask question, you wait for five minutes, the time is over, <laughs> right? So let me, uh, let me tell you quickly that, see the uh, root behavior problem, you know it's not rocket science I'm asking, you also know these answers. It's just that might be, it's the, uh, you, you may be busy. But anyway, the ratings solve the problem of root behavior and the benefits is that humble and greet. People, what they're looking for is benefits is humble and greet. One more question. I'll take five minutes break. <laughs> no help available in emergency to all people. This is the problem, right? What feature? Okay, to solve, solve by Portia. Online nurse booking. The feature. What the benefit is the rest assured feeling of their family members who are staying away. And there are tangible and intangible benefits both. The tangible benefit is that they are cured. And benefit is the emotional benefit is intangible benefit is rest assured feeling. Time and hassle to buy vegetables doorstep delivery benefit is time and energy saving 
The problem is electricity bills, fuel sort, installation size. So if you see the air condition, right? Not everyone has air condition in India. So problem is that it's the bill is too much. It feels, I mean, installation is the problem. The size is the problem, right? And you come up with a portable AC, small portable AC. That's the problem you solve. Carry anywhere and happy, cool feeling, right? It will keep your environment cool in next one or two meters radius. Instagram, the problem is the, <clears throat> the need is the youngsters are concerned about the looks and need to feel grand. Uh, what feature actually brought by Instagram is filters, right? That make you feel, that make you look good. And the followers that make you feel grand and the benefits are gratification and you feel like celebrity. That is the benefit. So that's how these are product market fits. So problem, feature, and benefits. That's how you come up with the problem. What are the tools we discussed? Let's compile. We started with the problem, uh, the opportunity, and idea. What is opportunity and idea? Idea is idea is <clears throat> opportunity always there. Idea, you come up with the idea. That is product. We learned about the four quadrants. First, second, third, fourth. The right product market fit is the when you are going from first to second. That is the right product market fit. Then we uh, tried to learn about the design. Using design thinking, we saw using design thinking, we learned about the starting with the empathy map. Try to identify a problem here, right? Using empathy map. Apply YY analysis to boil down the problem. Once you boil down the problem, you have the core problem. You solve the problem using scamper techniques. This is the scamper technique. You come up with a lot of idea and you boil down the idea. And this is how you boil down the idea using problem, features, benefits, right? And once you have this, you are sorted. Obviously, you need a team, you need implementation, you need vendors. That's a different topic, but this is called product market fit. You may practice this by YouTube, Digital Currency, Tata Sky, Netflix. Try to use this as an idea and do reverse engineering and see what problem did they solve. This is the exercise for you. Identify the needs of the given product. What need they solve? What problem they solve? Instagram solved some other problem. Facebook solved some other problem. Digital currency, YouTube, Netflix, they are solving some problem. The next product could be yours with which you solve people's problem using product market fit, using empathy map, using Viva analysis, using scamper, using design thinking, using lean startup. This is the world. These are all the jargons you can say, or this is all the techniques we use to reach to the product market fit. Thank you so much. Thank you so much everyone for your time. It was wonderful to have you at CMRIT again. And I wish you all the best for your startups, for your journey ahead. If you have any question, you can ask for some time and I'm here. Thank you. How was the session? I like it, it was connected.
Thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you. If you, everyone, if you need any help tomorrow in startups or if you're looking forward, I would be happy to help you. Here's my LinkedIn and here's my YouTube channel. You can follow and uh, we can stay connected. If you, I'll be happy to help you. All the best for your journey. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye.